welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY on traveling essentials and that is because whenever I travel I want to look really cute and I'm sure you do too but I noticed that it's really hard to find a really cute luggage or luggage tags or like a neck pillow. They're all really dull and boring and when you do find something cute it's really expensive. So I'm going to share with you guys how to make your own and how to make it on a budget. If you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button that way you know when I upload new videos and if you want to get notifications you can also hit the little bell that's on your screen and you will get notified when I upload new videos which is every Sunday. Make sure to stick around to the very end of the video to see all my essentials because I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway in partnership with you by Kotex who I'm collaborating with in this video. So now let's get started. Let's begin with the traveling neck pillow and what I'm going to do is cut up a yard of fabric, whatever choice you want, whatever print you want, and then I'm going to go ahead and start cutting out the pattern which is like a toilet seat, <laughs> that's what I call it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the shape. Then we are going to flip one of the sides over and then we're going to begin by using a fabric glue gun to put it together and you don't need any stitching, no sewing, you just use a glue gun and this is fabric glue so it's going to stay on and you want to leave a little section at the very top open in order for you to be able to stuff it in. So go ahead and turn it inside out and begin stuffing the pillow and then go ahead and use a little bit more fabric glue to make sure that it's all done. Let's move on to luggage tags. Now these are really important just in case your suitcase tends to get lost at the airport. They can go ahead and track it down to whoever it is. So I'm going to go ahead and use a journaling card. You can use other items too like a picture or you can use scrapbook paper. But all I'm going to do is write my information in the back. So write in your phone number, your address, whatever information you want to leave. And then go ahead and stick it through the laminator so that it is nice and sealed. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut off the axis laminating paper around it, punch a hole in order to stick some really cute ribbons on there, and then this is really fun because I love picking different kinds of ribbons, and I just love these colors. So you want one big ribbon and then smaller ribbons. The big ribbon you're going to use to tie it around your luggage, and the rest are just for decoration. Then you want to go ahead and tie all the ribbons together so they stay on there nice and pretty, and you are done. DIY project we are going to make a tote and this one is going to be a pretty big tote for you to travel with and it can be your personal item on the airport so I'm going to begin by using two yards of fabric and I'm just going to cut out the shape of the bag and I don't like measuring so I just kind of eyeball it make sure that the shape looks okay and it is important for it to be this shape because it's going to look super cute at the end so I'm cutting off two different sides of fabric at the same time that way it saves me some time and then I'm also going to cut some little triangles at the bottom and that's going to give it its shape and then once I'm done I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing to the lining of the bag so I'm just gonna put it on top of the other and I'm gonna cut out the exact same shape and there is two layers of fabric laid on there that I'm cutting right now that way it is just a lot easier that way and I'm gonna cut out the same triangles at the bottom so now taking one of the fabrics I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the triangles that you guys saw earlier together and that's going to make it look wider and have more space at the bottom whenever you put in your items so just use some fabric glue like I did in the DIY travel pillow and this is like the best glue ever I found at the craft store I'll have a link down below for the materials if you guys want that way you guys can get this type of fabric glue because it works so well like it's amazing once you are done gluing the little triangles together with all four different pieces of fabric then go ahead and grab the two that match and start gluing them together and I'm just doing the sides and the bottom leaving the top without any glue once the glue has cooled off, go ahead and turn it inside out and you are going to do the exact same thing with the lining bag and then afterwards you're going to go ahead and insert it inside of this bag. Once you are done with that step, we are going to give little folds to the front of the bag and it's going to give it a different look. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my glue gun and I'm going to put down a line of glue folded over so it's going to give it a folding effect. And then I'm going to do this three more times to the front, that way there's four different lines and it looks like it's folded one with the other. You want to make sure that you do it to both sides of the back, so the front and the back as well. 
Next, we are gonna go ahead and cut out fabric that is at least four inches wide, and we're going to glue it to the top. You're going to glue the fabric inside out, that way you're going to fold it over eventually. So we're going to glue the very edges only, so be careful that it's only a small amount of glue on there. And then go ahead and begin folding it over. As you go along folding it over, make sure to add a little bit of glue here and there to help you along with the process. And you want to make sure that you do that to the other side as well so it looks like this at the very end. It hides the stitching and the lining as well. So now we're going to add a little bit of decor before we put on the handles. And I just put on these really cute tassels. I felt like it added a lot of character to the furs. And I loved the way it turned out. So then I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. It gets a little bit repetitive so it makes it easier as you do this. And you get it done a lot faster too. Now we're going to go ahead and cut out the handles and what I did was grab two yards of fabric and then I went ahead and I measured about five to six inches and that way you can fold it twice over and it's going to make the handle very sturdy and very easy to attach to the tote too. That was a tongue twister, that was a lot of teas in there. <laughs> You want to start on the sides of the purse, so just fold it to where you can have an easy view of the purse on the side. And then I'm going to go ahead and begin attaching it. Super easy because once you have it exactly where you want, then you can just fold it over and it's going to stay in place. So it's going to make sure that it hides all the lining and any frays that's on the side so you don't have to do any sewing at all whatsoever and it's going to stay on very sturdy. This is by far my favorite DIY project that I've ever made. I was so proud and I can't believe how awesome it came out. And I showed it to my friend Ashley and she's like, oh my god, I want one too. It looks so good. It looks like you bought that at the store. And it's so big, you can fit so much inside of it. Even your laptop fits inside and it's great for storage. So you are all ready to go to the airport looking super stylish and cute. Now let's get into my essentials, the things that I always bring with me when I'm on the airplane and you are going to be getting all of this in a giveaway. So first is a lotion because it gets very drying on the plane so I always make sure to bring a moisturizer with me and also some cozy socks because it can get quite cold. I love bringing some wipes with me just to sanitize your seat or your hands before eating because remember you are with a lot of people on the plane. <laughs> Germs can spread fast so I always have sanitizer with me and on really long flights you want to keep yourself entertained so I love reading a good book and this is by one of my favorite authors and I bought one for you and for me so we can read it together at the airport everyone's always fighting for an outlet to charge their phones so I made sure to include a portable charger which I have one too this one is from Kate Spade super cute you always want to come prepared when it comes to your period because you don't want to get it at the worst possible time when you're up in the air and there's nowhere for you to get one so I always make sure to keep these inside of like my little makeup bag or just somewhere safe that way in case anybody gets it or I get it I am prepared I always bring tampons and pads with me these are the you by Kotex sleek tampons and my favorite thing about these tampons is how absorbent they are and also the grip on them so it's easy to insert and these are the you by Kotex security overnight pads with wings there's no leaks especially at night when you're sleeping and it has wings to make sure that it stays in place and I have two packages for you guys to try them out. And if you guys want a sample, you can head on to their website, which I'll have a link down below where you guys can find more information about them, especially if you're not sure how to use them. Another essential is a camera. This is my Polaroid, and I love it, so I got one for you guys as well. This one is hot pink, and it comes with extra film. And my last essential are some headphones, and I got one for me and one for you guys as well. These are the Power Beats 2 wireless headphones, and they are bomb. The guy at the store was like, you have to get these, so. I got them for you guys. I'm so excited. I want to give a huge thanks to you by Codex for sponsoring this video. And I will have all the instructions and the rules on this giveaway in the description box below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Which is besos. Mwah!